What's going on? Serious here. That's right. Season 10, All-Stars. It's that time. The lists have just got out for the teams. I'm sure there's plenty of people scrambling around trying to get into their groups, whether it be line groups or Discord groups, so they can start communicating and organizing what they have going on. In that spirit, I thought I'd take a few minutes and go over a few tips and tricks, things to look out for, things to prep for, as we have this round of All-Stars coming up. Uh, I've got myself placed here. i got Group B Bears team here, so I'll be hanging out here for the preliminary rounds. We'll be live streaming this, so hopefully we have some fun. We've been working over the night to get the team together online, so hopefully we can come up with a plan. We'll see. First and foremost, I'd like to say congratulations to all those making All-Stars the top 400. Now, now the real battle begins. All right, first thing we're going to go over is things you can prep right now. We're a couple days out from the first round of preliminary rounds here, so first couple things we can take a look at are our items. We want to make sure we have plenty of March speed-ups. That's right, advanced March speed-ups. I recommend no less than the 1,000. Uh, I'd rather see 2,000 plus. You never can have enough for All-Stars. With those March speed-ups, you want to make sure that your marches are in and out as fast as possible. You don't want to have too many hanging out there for too long. Now, the good rule of thumb is to have is if you can't get your marches back under 10 seconds, don't have that many marches out, as that's a good time frame to prepare for for uh, a rally being set on you and being able to pull all your troops back in port. Another thing to focus on, make sure to pay attention to, you're going to have to factor in lag. It's going to happen. We all know it's going to happen. That hanging up on double zeros. So whenever you can speed your marches, speed your marches because it's going to hang trying to join rallies. It's going to hang trying to get back to your own keep. As for march speed ups and joining rallies, here's a couple of examples here. This is one of our latest matches here. Joining from the rally screen, as you can see here, trying to get into them as fast as possible. Not showing any mercy for those speeds, just smashing them. You're going to need to be doing that throughout the entire All-Stars, whether it's joining rallies or pulling those rallies back. Always speed those marches. Now, one of the first things you're going to want to do when you get your group together online or Discord is uh, identify who your rally setter is going to be and get set up. Maybe have a couple of players who are experienced to know what they're looking for, help spot for them, finding targets. Finding targets that are good for dirt, different types of rallies, whether it's a ground rally, cav rally, siege rally, or archers. It's always good to have a couple eyes out there, as many eyes as possible, to be able to find targets. Now, most of you probably aren't going to be set to be able to take any rallies. I highly suggest, again, making sure your marches are there and back to the joining rallies or flipping buildings. And back home so you have the, the ability to pour it out if they do set on you. And good tech for this, um, if you're getting set on, is to uh, bait the line. So what that means is when they set a rally on you, um, they send it. And then once they sent it, then you pour it out of the way. Uh, thus locking several players in that rally, allowing your team to possibly counter rally at this point in time. A couple things to think about where you're going. If you don't feel comfortable doing so, go ahead and pour it out of the way. A couple things to think about as well with the rallies is you're most likely not going to be getting as many points if you're getting hit by rallies, eating the rallies. These are Most of these are going to be 50 mil plus rallies, and they're going to hurt because they're loaded with a bunch of players with really good generals and troops and tier 15s. So I always suggest you move out of the way. The best way of getting your points is joining your team's rallies and trying to zero and, and knock out other players. That's where you're going to get a lot of your points from. Now, not all of us are mega coiners and have uh, deep resources to heal uh, multiple times. So we're going to look to stretch out all our resources over this long battlefield. You want to stretch out those heal speeds. So you're going to want to dodge rallies. You're going to want to join your rallies. Try to get as many points as you can that way. It's fast. you got to be fast. 
like I was saying before, were 10 seconds for, to factor in for quartering out of the way. You got 10 seconds or less to be joining those rallies on your side before getting bounced. 50 mil may be a big rally, but it gets filled fast with multiple people up there around 4 mil or so marches. Now, on the topic of lag, there's going to be some. Get over now. Just focus and deal with it the best you can because it's going to happen. You're going to have double zeros. You're going to have marches hanging up. You just kind of have to factor that in when you're moving marches around. No whining about it. Everyone's going to have to deal with it. First thing you're going to want to do, a couple things you can cut away at on your end at least. This is uh, castle decorations and... A big one I find is the march decoration. I definitely would get rid of your march decoration. That seems to be the biggest one. Castle decoration, a little bit maybe, but definitely the march decoration. I recommend dumping that. You don't need that for all stars at least. You can look pretty for your marches for all your bosses. Now let's not forget our normal buff check. You know, things to look for and go through. You're going to have all your shrine buffs. You're going to have your dragon talents, obviously your hour-long buffs if you want to do that. Um, you can do the 10-minute buffs, just that's going to be a lot of upkeep in the middle of the thing. If you happen to have those 30% uh, ones that you get from Shellons for an hour, uh, that's probably the best bet for the, the longevity of it. You don't want to be popping in and out having to pop buffs, buffs over and over again. Make sure your talents are all set. You get your PvP talents set, and make sure all your presets are all done up ahead of time. Make sure there's all the layering in there, all the way down to your tier ones. Make sure all that's ready to go, so you just have to point and shoot when you get in there, pretty much. Now, as I said before, it's a long two hours. Pace yourself. There's gonna be a lot of keeps healing out there, and you yourself included, probably, to try to keep up. So pace yourself. If you get zeroed and you're not deep on healing speeds, I highly recommend what you do, not full heal, but just heal bullets. So you're healing up your presets, you're healing up your arch preset, your siege preset, cav or ground. And typically you'll take those and you'll heal them up and you can throw them up in ghost and hold them up there until you're ready to join a rally. Uh, when it's it's set this way you're not having a bunch of troops again laying down for easy scores for the other team so this is the best way to do it after you're zeroed if you want to keep fighting and keep joining those rallies heal those bullets heal those troops but ghost them and get them ready for joining rallies let's remember it's a team game better for you to work with your team to try and win the round to help you get to the semifinals and you see 50 Monarch are guaranteed to make it from each group. First place gets 20 guaranteed spots of those. Second place gets 15 guaranteed spots. And third place gets 5 guaranteed spots. Where fourth place gets no guaranteed spots. So that leaves 10 slots open for the highest scorers. So make sure if you want the best shot to get to the semifinals, you help your team place up the rankings. Team game. Help your rally setters. Help your team out. And that's how you're going to get to the next round. Uh, these are a few things to keep in mind as you prep and get ready for the preliminary rounds of All Stars Season 10. If you want to get to the next round of semifinals, work on these. Grind. Play fast. Get as many heal speed ups as you can. Get as many march speed ups as you can going into this round. And work on as many little buffs as you can. Every little bit, every little tweak will help you. Ask questions and work on your build couple more days left to go. Get out there, grind, squeeze out every little bit you can, and I hope to see you in the semifinals.